Hey everybody, it is Dr. Carrie here and I have a really cool story I want to share with you. And it relates to the article that I have below. Do you really need that MRI? Here's what happened. So we basically were working with a client and this isn't the first time something like this happened, but she's fresh in my mind because this just happened. So we're working with this lovely client who had knee pain, okay? And after a couple weeks, was making a certain amount of success with her knee, but then kind of flatlined and hit a plateau. So we started investigating a little bit more and turns out the problem or part of the problem was really coming from her spine. And this person had no back pain at all. This happens a lot. I can't tell you how many times we've come across this, but basically what we did, she was amazed herself. We started doing some specialized movement testing where we moved her back around in specific directions and movements. And we literally were able to turn her knee symptoms on and off depending on what we did without touching her knee. So for us, that was a clear reason that we needed to shift gears a little bit and include some back treatment into what we were already doing for her knee to fully get this problem solved. The reason why I'm telling you that story is because I know she's not alone and this may have happened to some of you, but this is why I talk a lot about imaging. So this particular article is, do you really need that MRI? When it comes to musculoskeletal problems, most of the time, no. 80% of the time, your problem, like this person, their knee pain, comes from a mechanical problem, meaning it has to do with the way you move, the way you're not moving. And we clearly figured this out with this woman, who, by the way, her MRI showed, you know, a meniscus problem in her knee, but we know that the real issue wasn't actually being caused by her meniscus, it was being caused by something in her back. So sometimes you have structures in your joints that are irrelevant. In fact, the studies show this over and over again. It shows that, you know, especially people in their 50s and 60s, something like 60% of people will have meniscus tears in their knees and they won't have any knee pain. The point is, just because an MRI shows you've got some kind of quote ailment, it doesn't mean it's the full cause of your problem. Back to this particular case, this woman, this isn't the first time she had a problem in this knee. So there's a really good chance that even years ago when she had her first surgery for a meniscus that it never really was her meniscus. It might've been her back all along, just nobody had found it yet. So don't rely on the MRI. And if you're wondering, do I really need an MRI? Most of the time, no. There's very specific reasons that obviously you wanna get one. And I, I talk about them in the article. But have a click, read it, let me know what you think. If the topic is confusing, I don't blame you. Let me hear about it in the comments. Ask me your questions, do my best to answer them. I'm gonna try to be off social media for the Thanksgiving holiday, but I'm always looking to answer your questions. But yeah, have a read, send it to someone who maybe is struggling. The MRIs are awesome, they're a great tool, they save lives, but they shouldn't be the only thing that you use to dictate your treatment plan because movement patterns and your pain never lies, but MRIs can kind of lie sometimes. So I hope you enjoy the article and click below to read it and let me know if you've got questions.